Hey guys, fishing stuff. I got a DIY that I wanted to share with you about how to make a 30 gallon live well that you might want to stick around for. I'll explain why right after this. A lot of you probably know Patriot James or Patriot Catfishers of America. Anyway, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below and you can check it out. But he's having a YouTube catfishing tournament, January the 15th, which I'm going to enter. I hear there's going to be some big YouTubers in it. Bring it. Jeff Mann. Jeff Mann. Dider Malhoon. And New School Fishing, whoever that is. I ain't scared. I ain't. I ain't. Anyway. My boat only has a nine and a half gallon live well, which is not sufficient for the magnitude of the fish I'm going to be catching. Look at the size of that thing. So in today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to make a 30 gallon live well. So we start out with a 120 quart cooler, which is the equivalent of 30 gallons. And that's all my parts I need inside. Forgive the mess, but I've got multiple DIYs going on at one time. I make a lot more than fishing stuff. <laughs> I got a 600 gallon per hour submersible pump. I bought two foot of three quarter clear vinyl tubing. Bought two foot of half inch PVC, an end cap, a couple of clamps, and a couple of joints to connect the pump to the PVC with. I got six stainless steel screws and some double-sided Gorilla Tape. This here I'm making is a rail that's going to spray the water in. So we'll have to drill some holes down it for the water to come out of as soon as we figure out where they need to be. 